Hey, good morning. What a pretty sight. What a pretty sight. God's creation, eh? Uh, well, this morning, I asked the question, how much time do you spend with your family? How much time do you spend with your family? Listen to this. 1 Kings chapter 11 and verse 1 says, But King Solomon loved many strange women together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Zidonians, and Hittites. And he, King Solomon, had 700 wives, princesses, and 300 concubines, and his wives turned his heart away, turned away his heart. Uh, it says, for it came to pass when Solomon was old, uh, that his wives turned away his heart after other gods. And his heart was not perfect with the Lord, uh, his God, as the heart of David, his father. I listened to Solomon as he commenced on life. And I am, I am saying to myself, wait man, this is the wisest man that ever lived. This man supposed to be now chilling out, happy as ever with his wife and family and children and grandchildren. But Solomon is, is like if he distressed. And then I go back to this text, which points out that he had a thousand women to deal with. In other words, Solomon could not find time to spend quality time with his family. Now hear this, hear this. What do you expect? See it this way. We only have 24 hours in a day. So if I have one wife, and I do have one wife, and I have three children, perhaps in a busy day, I get a chance to spend one hour quality time with my wife and children. But here it is. If I ended up with three wives, it would mean that within the same 24 hours in the day, I will have to divide that 60 minutes and I only have uh, 20 minutes quality time to spend with each wife and children. You see the problem? So eventually, what is going to happen is that all three wives and children would be dissatisfied. Now, if you're thinking that, well, if you have many wives and have set up many families, that will be happiness. No, the wise man Solomon said, after he had spent so many hours uh, with these wives, listen, he himself said, it's as if he threw up his hand in despair and he said, hey, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. Uh, all of them were dissatisfied. So as you plan your life today, one, remember that God wants monogamy. One man, one wife. Set up your family with, with one wife, right? Or one husband. Further, please understand that when you have many wives or many husbands that is touch and go and your relationships will be shallow and that's not what God wants. So as you go through the day, encourage people, let them know, let them know that God's intention is that we live happily, husband and wife, with one wife. And when you do it that way, then it's easier for happiness to be to come your way because that is God's way. Our God and Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful scenery where we can bring our families. And I ask God that you put in the mind of somebody today the clarity which says a family should be a man, his wife, and his children and not too many individuals, meaning monogamy. Let them know that monogamy is God's way. Bless us throughout the day, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. May God richly bless. The Lord is my light, why should I fear? By day and by night, His presence is there. He is my salvation from sorrow.